So when you first come into Mole View, this is the screen that you'll see. When you get to here, you just need to press close. So this is what you'll see on the canvas. To clear this canvas, we just press the rubbish bin or clear all, which will give us a blank canvas. It won't clear the 3D side until we actually tell it to make another 3D molecule. On the canvas, we have three different menus, the left-hand menu, the top menu, and the right-hand menu. The left-hand menu has a variety of different bond types, as well as a variety of different cyclic compounds that we can actually use. Up the top, we have the delete or clear all, the erase, the undo, the drag, this is a redo button, um, selection tools, either rectangular or lasso. Up here, we can have it so it shows line structure or colors. Uh, this is our centering the structure and this is our cleaning the structure. This one here, once we've actually got our 2D model actually made, we actually then press to actually create this 3D type structure. On the right hand side, we've got lots of different elements in terms of atoms. These are the most common ones used in organic chemistry. Down the bottom is also the periodic table, which you can click on to get other elements. But these are most of the ones that we will use. So to build our structure, all we need to do is actually click on the element that we want to start with, so say carbon, and we click on the canvas. When you're wanting to do your next one, you start at the one that you want to bond it to. So we've got carbon to carbon. So left click, press on it, then drag to where you want it to move to. So I'm going to build a five carbon chain. Then I can change to add hydrogens in. So I'm going to start with C. Um, if I just click straight on it, it will change it. So let's just change that back by going undo. Um, if I click on the carbon and then move out, it'll actually change it um, to the bonding there. So let's put some hydrogens in. hydrogen. So at the moment I have got, actually I did six carbons there, let's just remove one of the carbons. So if you find that you've actually made a mistake you can just erase and so I want to erase that whole carbon so it'll just do anything bonded to that as well. So let's just add that. So I've got one, two, three, four, five. So this is a pent and at the moment I haven't got enough carbons for it to be a pentane. So I know it's going to be a pentene, sorry, enough hydrogens for it to be a pentane. I want to make it a pentene. So I want the, this has got four, this has only got three, this has only got three. So I want a double bond. So I can change any of these bonds into a double bond by clicking on double bond and putting it in the correct spot. So then this one now has four, four, this one's got four. So all the carbons now have four bonds. So I don't need any more double bonds. And this would be a pent two in because the bond is on the second. Remembering we always number from the end closest to the bond. If you want to represent something in 3D type structures where you're using the hash bonds and wedge bonds, it's really easy as well. All you do is you click on your wedges to say where you want those to appear and you click on your hashes to say where they would appear. So that you can have a 3D representation as well. Once you're happy with your structure, that you've got it all correct, you just then need to press 2D to 3D and it will generate that 3D structure. Once you have it over here, you can then rotate by pressing on it with your uh, mouse with left and then moving your mouse around to rotate while holding the left button down. If you just want um, no colours appearing, so at the moment I've got grey and black, I can have them all being the same colour by taking out the toggle view. If I don't want um, the extended structural formula, I just want the line structure, I can also change it to the line structure here. So I have um, skeletal or line structure as well as the extended formula. On your task, you need to create a methyl propanoid. So you can search for methyl propanoid in the top or you can build it here. So this search engine allows you to search for multiple compounds. So let's look for paracetamol. 
and it brings up that compound already built for you as well as the 3D structure. The database has a large number of compounds which predominantly have common names but there are some with IUPAC names as well so you're welcome to search through those. So this is our methyl propanoate and you can see it's shown in colour with the grey, red and black and this is it over here that we can rotate and have a look at. Your job is to build structural isomers, so two structural isomers of this. So it needs to make sure with a structural isomer that they don't necessarily have to have the same arrangement or the same um, bonding to the same atoms, but I do need to make sure it still has four carbons, eight hydrogens and two oxygens, with one of those oxygens having a double bond. So you can do different configurations of that. So you can build them on the same canvas so that you could actually see that they are definitely the same molecule, or you can choose to clear the canvas and have a go each time. One of the other ones that you need to do is the N-ethyl isanamide. So this is this molecule here, and the nitrogens are shown in blue. Remembering that the N in the start just means that the alkyl group is actually attached to that nitrogen. So we use this N for amides where they're a little bit more complicated than just having the N at the, um, at the end of a molecule. So they're used when the, the amide group is part of the molecule in the middle. So please enjoy using Molview. You can build as many molecules as you like. Use some of the cyclos um, as well, the cyclic compounds, and have a go.